More high school seniors are headed to college to play sports. I'm CN2's Morgan Cox. Find out where one Indian Land Warrior is headed to next and what she's most looking forward to. Welcome back. This is CN2 Sports. I'm Morgan Cox here at Indian Land High School with Daniela. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So Daniela is a senior here at Indian Land High School and she's leaving in a few short months to go to college. Very exciting, but you're playing a sport. So what are you playing? Softball. Okay, and where are you going? George Washington University. That's awesome. So why did you pick George Washington University? Um, I love the atmosphere and it's in the heart of DC, only four blocks away from the White House. And they also have a great medical program, which I want to be an anesthesiologist, so that's great for me, so I'm excited. That's awesome. That is way over my head, though. That's so cool that you want to do that. So why did you pick to do that? Um, well, when I was younger, I had a few people pass away in my life, mm -hmm. and I just wanted, I knew I always wanted to be in the medical program, so that's why I don't actually want to do the surgeries, but I yeah. knew I wanted to be in, like, the procedure and stuff. Yeah. So anesthesiologist. That's very exciting. So let's move to softball. What made you get into softball? Um, well, I've been playing t-ball ever since I was eight and I just loved it and never looked back. Yeah, so. that's a long time since you were eight. So that sounds like a lot of hard work. Yes. So talk about that, that preparation. I mean, I'm sure you've dreamed of going to college and you're finally doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to play in college, specifically division one. But as you get older, you know, you realize that the division doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that you get to go out and play anywhere is awesome because most people don't. But it's countless, the countless hours spent on the field with my dad and my parents in the stands watching me always cheer me on paid off. So I'm excited. That's awesome. You know, I've covered a lot of um, future college athletes signing to go to school. And the ones that have that mentality of it doesn't matter the division as long as you're going with your heart. You know, exactly. it's, which it sounds like that's what you're doing. Exactly. So what are you most looking forward to playing college ball? Um, I guess since it's in D.C., just a new environment and then getting to meet like a bunch of different people from different backgrounds and get to learn more about them. But yeah, that's exciting. And going to college can be scary. Mm -hmm. Like I told you earlier, I had just graduated recently and um, I made my best friends in college and you're going to be joining a team that you'll be making friendships that will last forever. Exactly. So it's her last year here at Indian Land. Like we said, you're a senior. So you've got that last season, right? Right. To play ball and be a leader. So talk about that. How are you going to leave your legacy? So for my last year, I hope we want to win state. That's been a goal of mine since um, freshman year. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to, we have a lot of newcomers coming onto the team that are going to help out the team a lot. Yeah. Just like push them and help them and like not get scared. Yeah, you're a freshman playing varsity, but you, can, you still have the same talents as all of us. And once we all get that team chemistry, I think we can win state, so. Yeah, well, it sounds like she's going to be a great leader. That's a great mentality to have for those younger girls, too, coming in and, and playing with seniors like yourself. So what are you going to miss the most about being here at Indian Land? Probably just the hometown feeling. Just everybody knows everybody, like the southern hospitality, <laughs> just everything. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'm so excited for you, and I can't wait to see you perform in your last season here as a warrior. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Danielle, Daniela, for being with us today, and um, I had fun talking with you. Yeah, me too. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Take a look at these other sports headlines here in the Tri-County area. Congrats to Clover High School alum Brianna Clemmer. Monday night, she won a title during the United States National Amateur Bowling Championships. Clemmer is a 21-year-old right-hander, and in 2018, she was on the junior team, and she helped the United States win a gold medal at the 2018 World Bowling Youth Championships. ESPNU has selected the Gardner-Webb at Winthrop Men's Basketball Contest scheduled for Thursday, January 24th as its second Big South broadcast of the season. The game will take place at 7 p.m. inside Winthrop Coliseum. The game will be the first meeting of the season between Gardner-Webb and Winthrop. ESPNU is on channel 283 on Comporium Cable. Obviously, the big story that everyone talk, everyone's talking about is the Clemson-Alabama game. Clemson beating Alabama 44-16. This is Clemson's second title in three years. A few players from Rock Hill on the Clemson roster include B.T. Potter, Darian Kendrick, Logan Rudolph, and Kyle Richardson. Now, a lot of these players have won middle school championships, Amazing. high school championships with South Point, and now a national championship. <laughs> All they need is a Super Bowl win. Yeah, right? it doesn't get much better than that. That's a lot of rings. That's a lot of bling. That's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> what about hands. the snowman story from yesterday? So the snowman story, Alabama snowman probably melted, and the Clemson one might have made it to the roof. <laughs> she promised that. A lot that. of excitement. Thanks, Morgan. Have a good night.